We are glad uh, to welcome all of our subscribers on our channel, Future Trend channel. Today is 15 May 2018 and we start our everyday analysis of major currencies. As you can see this morning, uh, the strong uh, dollar story is in back into focus. Uh, that's because of rising United States uh, mm, uh, Treasury yields. As you can see, uh, the yield of uh, benchmark 10-year United States Treasuries uh, at the moment is trading above uh, the threshold of 3%, uh, psychologically important level and also the technical barrier. All in all, uh, that means uh, that uh, the dollar could receive another boost if we, uh, if we see um, if we see um, an interest rate in the in, an interest rates in the United States higher in the nearest uh, future, uh, that's basing on two important um, uh, factors. Uh, the first one is easing uh, global trade tensions, uh, easing geopolitical situation around the world, and uh, another important factor is, of course, uh, the str uh, the current strength of United States economic indicators, which is more or less uh, solid despite of the last reading of United States consumer price inflation. Uh, from this point of view and in this light, uh, the coming uh, sessions, uh, the coming trading days will be especially important for the nearest future of the majors. As you can see, uh, we, uh, we have some kind of uh, uh, really very interesting economic numbers coming from the European Union. For example, it's European Union flash gross domestic <coughs> product data uh, uh, that uh, should be published around uh, 10 uh, Greenwich time. Also, we uh, have today uh, zero uh, economic sentiment uh, regarding the situation uh, in uh, German economy. Uh, and. Uh, also, it will be some uh, appearances of United States uh, uh, monetary policy makers. And uh, another important economic barometer will be published today in the form of United States retail sales numbers, which uh, should be published around 13.30 uh, Greenwich time. All in all, uh, the coming day promised to be uh, rather volatile and rather interesting, we still suggest uh, that uh, the United States dollar in, is in a consolidation kind of mood and uh, at the moment we don't see any kind of um, a really sharp strength of the United States uh, dollar right now uh, because um, that's kind of uh, development uh, should be confirmed by stronger United States economic numbers, so much higher uh, United States uh, Treasury yields. At the moment, uh, we still suggest that the, that overall the United States dollar is in a consolidation mood, and from that point of view, probably the major currencies should remain in a mm, uh, range trading uh, uh, environment, uh, let's say so. From that point of view, once again, we'd like to mention uh, that rising uh, global energy prices should stimulate inflation not only in the United States, but overall in the world. And uh, if, we see, if we see some uh, stronger reading of economic indicators in uh, other countries, uh, except United States, uh, that uh, probably should mean that uh, the United States a dollar story could, uh, I mean, uh, the United States strong dollar story could hold at the moment, and we can see some rebound in the majors against uh, the United States currency. Uh, that's why we probably are ready to buy the, uh, the euro dollar around 119 with a very close stop below 118.70. Uh, we still target at the level of 121.50, which uh, we um, suggest at the moment is a rather important uh, upside resistance. Uh, uh, that's uh, here you can see this kind of resistance we mentioned above. As regarding the dollar yen, which is uh, very close uh, to its psychologically important barrier 110, 
the overall uh, positive uh, risk sentiment is driving the dollar yen uh, higher and that means that probably in the nearest future we could see a test of uh, moving average 200 daily line which are located around 11016 once again overall it seems uh, that uh, after a small pause uh, uh, we witnessed uh, during uh, the last um, during previous trading week the united states dollar is uh, slowly coming back into uh, force and that's mean that probably the underlying uh, bullish uh, dollar trend is uh, back into play the same applies uh, for sterling which is at 35.50 at the moment overall it's still above its moving average 200 daily line but is in process of eroding at this major barrier as regarding dollar Swiss, after a small correction we witnessed uh, during previous trading session to below 0.9960 we see that dollar swiss uh, is uh, back above uh, the parity level uh, overall here the situation is strongly in favor of another upside progress of this currency pair that's uh, why we decided to tighten our stop long on our short trade recommendation initiated at 10045 we put now the stop to uh, 10060 and uh, as you can see a uh, while above a uh, short term uptrend line the uptrend line of 2018 uh, that's located at the moment around 97.55 the dollar swiss should remain uh, into strong bullish trend thank you very much for all of your attention of our channel some later we will come with our analysis of euro crosses and commodity currencies